Hello everybody, this is your pal Impossible here, and we're playing Prison Architect. This game just got a new DLC left out, uh, called The Warden Update, maybe? I think? Something like that. And, uh, I haven't played this game in forever. I used to absolutely love it. So, uh, let's hop into things. Let's see what we're doing here. Alright guys, I think what we're gonna do is the, uh, the campaign. I'm hoping that'll kind of walk us through what we're supposed to be doing here. So, uh, we've been contracted to build an execution chamber at this prison. And the time for the scheduled execution of one of our inmates. So apparently somebody has been a very, very naughty boy. And, uh, they're, uh, gonna be taken out. And we have to be the ones who, uh, facilitate that, apparently. We're starting things up. I guess they have a little intro thing here now. I don't remember having this. I played this game in beta and like early access like forever and ever ago. I want to say that I made a review for this game on Steam like in 2013 maybe. So that's pretty much probably how long it's been since I've really played it uh, very much. But I, I very much loved this game when it came out and I, I put a lot of time into it. But I, I haven't touched it in years. I was just so excited to hear that they got a big update for it. Okay, let's, uh, this little thing is going forever here. Incoming call, the CEO. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. Dun, dun, dun! That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the big day. Eee. All right. How are we going to do it? This is where I want the new facility to be built. So, like, over here, I guess? The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself. With enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. Okay. So, let's get started. Construct a new building here. I'm very glad that they have a, a tutorial for us here. We'll also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Okay, fair enough. Build a large jail door on the south wall. Okay, we can do that. So we go to uh, foundations here, building brick or concrete. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but I think brick has more personality than concrete, but I'm just kind of like making that up as I go along. All right, here we go. It's going to cost 4,000 bucks and uh, we have to make a wall, right? Where's the wall? Lar large door here. Give me a second, CEO guy. All right, let's click. What do you want? Your workmen are responsible for the construction of the buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. Okay. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. Fair enough. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use WSAD or the arrow keys and move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Alright, so zoomy zoomy, we got that and we can move around. Fair enough, we got that figured out. And if we're waiting on stuff, can't we just speed it up? Where's the speed up button? Oh, here we go, we can, we can do this here. There we go. That's how we deal with the, uh, the waiting stuff. Construct a building to house the execution facility. We did that, it should be done. We did our job. Are we going to get a call now? There we go. Inside the building, I want a cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Fair enough. Brick wall going in. Here we go. Let's speed it up so they do this uh, snappy. I imagine we have to put a door there of some sort. What kind of door we want? I don't think that's a door. Objects, maybe? There's benches and stuff. Where's the jail door? It was in one of these, wasn't it? Walls and doors, that'll do it. I already put in a brick wall. They want a brick wall here, too? Okay, we can do that. Right there and right there. I thought we wanted doors, though. A jail door. Now add large jail doors to the dividing walls. All right, fair enough. You can re rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or press R. All right, so we got large day a jail door right there. And I'll flip that around and right there. 
That's not so bad. Let's speed it up so they uh, they get our job done real quick. All right, we're all set. How are we doing now, Warden? Actually, we're the Warden CEO guy. That's uh, looking good. We, we now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in a smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Uh, then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. Okay, so we'll go to rooms here. And this is, I guess, he has a tiny little cell. And he gets to die in a giant room. It's a little weird. Okay. All right, that's the execution room. And it looks like we have to put stuff here. Uh, the new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires an execution uh, electric chair, rather. Okay, they're, they're rather specific. Uh, so we'll put down an electric chair right there. We, we need a toilet. I'll flip it around so he can not be facing the wall while he's doing his business. And there we go. And uh, let's speed it up a little bit. Let them do their thing. We're probably going to have to hook this up to electric. Uh, unless they don't have that implemented yet. You know, of course, water for the toilet, so on and so forth. Uh, incoming call. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. So we could snazz up their cell a bit. The cell itself can be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. We could do that. I would not be averse to that. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like the wooden floorboard, uh, flo bleh, floorboards or mosaic tiles. Okay, can we put benches? Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. I guess it is a little dark there. We can just connect it over here. Is this the poor guy? He's always getting he's getting his last rites here. This is the man in question. Edward Rams Ramsey, a teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to, to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you're satisfied with the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go snazz up his little area a little bit. Let's, uh, let's make sure his last days aren't quite so uh, foreboding. You know, we, we can make it a little bit nicer. I guess we could just connect it to the yard. We could do that. So we'll go like this. And then just run over here to the yard area. Oh, yeah, we can just do it like that. There we go. So we got something there. It'll be nice and paved. Can we put down some lighting? A window? A light. A light is what I was looking for. Although I think an outside light would make more sense. Do they have like lamps or something? A wall light? A uh, light lamp? Street lamp? That's a little bit bigger than I was thinking. But uh, I don't know. Why not? I think that's forward. Uh, we can just put it like here-ish, I guess. Sure, why not? We'll have a little bit of light there. And uh put a window for this guy here so he can look outside while he's laying in bed maybe there we go and uh, let's put some flooring down uh, walls flooring here we go let's see what kind of flooring do we want here inside we can uh, I guess we'll put down some mosaic here because why not make this place look a little nicer and out here and right in the doorway and inside his room we'll make it something a little bit I don't know a little bit less gloom and doomy I guess something he might like I don't know uh, he can have fancy tiles there we go super fancy smancy tiles all right we'll let them do their little work here I think it looks nicer than it did all right uh, was there anything else we're supposed to do we throw down, like, let's throw down, I know, they didn't say this, but I kind of want to do it. Oh, yeah, we could put a bookshelf. Yeah, you can have a bookshelf, bud. I guess you can also have a, uh, whoop, let me hit the light button. You know, you can also have a light. There you go. And, uh, I guess it would be brighter in there, and he could, he could read. He can, uh, 
Can we get a chair for him or something? If he wants to read in front of his desk. Can we do that? Can we give him a little office desk here? Right next right next to the toilet, I guess. And uh, we'll give him a little chair. Is there a chair here? So something somewhat comfortable. I guess an office chair would be okay. I don't know why I'm going into so much detail here. I don't think it's important. I don't know. I just think it'd be nice. The guy's going to die. Let's uh, let's make his last days a little bit more comfortable. Where do we... Oh, there. Chair. There we go. We throw it in the chair uh, right here. There we go. So I have a nice little office space to uh, write letters to his family or something. Wh whatever it is he plans on doing. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit. Uh, do they want me to put down more lights? Here, have another light there. Like, why is it so light obsessed? Have a light there. There. I don't know. Anyway, so that's getting done. It should be, actually, I think it's all done now. Let's bring it back to normal time here. And we'll uh, we'll click on the Polaroid here and we'll, we'll watch him uh, get assigned to his new room. The Chief. Here he goes. That's some nice art right there. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was just around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Uh-oh. We're going to watch something evil happen, apparently. Is this his home, maybe? Who's that? Looks like they're pregnant or something. Oh. Oh, those are two different people. Oh, and they're, and they're in the act. Uh-oh. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward! Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Well, he's got a gun. It's uh, pretty clear what he was planning there. Yep. All right. That happened. I can't say that I was expecting uh, graphic murder in this uh, you know, game, but I guess it's there. It happened. At least they're covering up uh, the, the nudie bits, so I don't have to... Uh, cut this out of the game I don't think but uh, yeah it's a little bit more graphic than I was expecting I guess I should have just skipped it yeah stuff happens so he definitely did it clear as day if you ask me deserves every volt he's gonna get all men deserve forgiveness even him are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did and he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? You want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when he's... I'll just fine at night when I know he's gone. Okay. Well, he's making a slow walk. Oh, CEO's coming. Good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet. Because it doesn't have any power. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Uh, we, we need to connect it to the electrical supply. There we, all right, so we have to look at the uh, schematic. and Maybe we'll just run a line from over here or so. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electric cables. Yep, I already noticed. And there is a generator. The power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Fair enough. So now we're going to have to connect it over here somewhere. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All the lights are out. Well, that's no good. To fix this problem, 
We first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Okay, well, it only goes this far. That kind of tells you why. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. Fair enough. So I have to go into uh, utilities mode. Get electrical cables. And uh, we'll just go something like this. There we go. That should be able to wire everything. And we're all set. Let's just speed it up. Do your thing, electrical cable people. There we go. You, you could have connected it first, but that's okay. Alright, they're all set. We should be fine. Let's see what the CEO wants now. Oh, yeah, now we have to hook it up over here. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does, too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Okay, fair enough. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it directly to the mains cables. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, apparently we'll have to go over here or something. We'll have to find where is the quote-unquote main. I, I guess these would officially be the main. All right, we'll just run it down like this then. And uh, we'll get rid of these right here. Wait, did you, did you not connect? Right there. There we go. That should connect. And uh, we can also have the line coming down here to power everything. That should be uh, close enough. There we go. Make it so, engineers. All right. There we go. Do your thing. All right. We're all set. Slow it back down. The uh, CEO should be calling. There he is. We are almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at at least once before we try to use it, though. I guess that makes sense. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds and make sure everything is okay. All right. What are you expecting to have happen here? We're probably going to overload the, the grid over here. Yep, I had a feeling. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair uh, generates. I think we just need to throw down more capacitors here. Uh, first, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. Alright, well, let's, uh, he said we have to switch it on. So there we go. And uh, we have to build more capacitors, which we have right here. We can just throw it like that, I guess. I think we're only supposed to do three, but stuff happens. There we go. We'll get those built up. That should build our uh, power up a little higher. Let me get out of that. Come on, we still got two more here. There we go. Yeah, our, our load dropped a whole lot. I guess I was supposed to put them right here. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Well, let's just throw them right there then. I think the game wants us to put them there. So there we go. Alright, hurry up. Do your stuff. Just because I messed up doesn't mean you guys get to slack off. There we go. Okay, we, we should be all set. The uh, everywhere should have power. And uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's go check out the execution chair again. And uh, switch on. Did the world end? Is, this, is it on? It seems to be on and doing okay. Well done. I believe that we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job. And, what's, and that's important in our business. Okay. Try not to worry about what happens next. That is a full-size uh, Jesus statue right there. I don't remember this having, like, all these little story elements. It's pretty cool. I usually don't get this kind of stuff in the, uh, you know, the base building type games. So that's pretty neat. I guess they're in church, but who's is this the uh, prisoner guy? Can I help you? Oh, he wants forgiveness, I guess. Are you looking for forgiveness? 
I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. I guess this is before he uh, went to the police. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you've done if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. I guess it's the same priest. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will he will have the final judgment on you. Getting a little uh, getting a little heavy with the uh, the God stuff, but I, I guess if you're on death row, that's probably all you really got. Here he goes. It's gonna happen. And this is just so much more story stuff, and it's much uh, deeper than I remember it ever really uh, going before. Like I said, I haven't played in a long, long time. But, uh, yeah, apparently this guy is, is about to meet his maker. I wonder if... Are, are we actually going to see him, like, fry? I mean, that, that's... I'm wondering how far they're going to go with this. I can't look away. I probably should, but I'm not going to. Oh, he's going to pull it. Did he pull it yet? He looks scared out of his mind. Edward Romsey, you have been found guilty on two counts of murder in the first degree. Is the governor going to call? Is he going to get a, a reprieve? The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Well, that's it. He pulled the lever. That's it for Edward. There's so much cinematic stuff in here now. I just can't get over it. I wish they'd get off this black screen, though, because I feel like we've been here for long enough. That's an, it's enough black screen. Thank you very much, game. Let's let's keep going. Come on. Palermo, Chapter 2. Wow, everything's on fire. There's a crisis brewing in one of our other facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put it out, stop any casualties, and prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Ah! Let's pause it for a second. Uh, guys, we're going to have to end this one here. This has been Prison Architect. We're, we're going to keep playing this. We're going to make a series out of it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will have a link down in the description to the game. And they also have a new DLC out if you want to check that out. The, the game itself is actually on sale. So if you guys want to check it out now, it'd be a good time to do so. And uh, if you guys are new here, you guys can subscribe to this channel. Click that bell icon so you know when I put out new content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.